right, folks, we got a horrible, hideous problem on the uh, silver wing here. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but I'll show you. That's it. Yes, it's not a uh, bear spun bearing. It's not a bad crank. It's not a cracked cylinder. The uh, door on my right hand side keeps popping open. Now, I don't know what's going on. I don't usually keep a lot in it, but it's just annoying to see it flopping in the breeze like that. Uh, so I'll probably take it apart later on and see, if, see what I can see. So, oh, that's yet another project that I got to deal with before STO. So, hey, you know, I, I guess I should be thankful that that's the only thing. All right, I'll get to it. I'll get down to it and uh, see if I can't uh, make some sort of uh, sense out of it for you, and then post it up on uh, my cheesy little channel. All right, folks, this is the deal. I don't know if this thing's gonna pick it up, but right up under here is a little uh, arrowhead, or it's supposed to be an arrowhead. As you can see, it's pretty much shot. That goes down into this piece, which holds it. So I have to get another, I have to get another one of these little pieces right here, and then this thing will behave. What was going on, Back here, there was a spring. I took that out yesterday and took it for a ride and it didn't pop open anymore. But back here was a spring that had more tension than this thing could hold against and it was popping up. So as soon as I get that back in, I'll put the spring back in and we'll see what we got. This is the pocket that I usually put my uh, uh, air gauge in and light small things. So I would really like to be able to use it again. Messages for Craig. I was just calling to let you know your Honda part is in. You can come pick it up as soon as you're available. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, there you have it, folks. The part is in. I'm going to go take the other one off of the silver wing and uh, make sure I have it with me for tomorrow. I don't want to take any half steps on this, so make sure that I get the right part. tools at the house. All right, some time ago I put the reflexes tool pouch in the silver wing. Let's see if there's a Phillips in there. And there is. Yeah, that's the uh, tool kit that came with the reflex. I didn't have one in the silver wing. But uh, I'm going to obviously using it right now. Just insert that into there. That was dumb. <laughs> Perfect size screwdriver. Alright. There we go. See, that's the little doohickey. And you can see that uh, arrowhead is gone. So that's what's got to be replaced right there. And uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to stop at Nicholson's on the way in and uh, 
Do that. That's the oil drain right there. That's the oil drain that's got to come out. Let's go after that oil filter. Figure oil gets hot. Who, who, who knew? Have oil pressure, cool. Let 
it looks like I'm going to have to make an idle adjustment. Alright folks, I got one more thing I got to do. Um, of course, now it doesn't want to play nice. Take this out of here. Take this out of here and you squeeze these sides. You push this back. This whole thing comes out. Just like that. I'm going to do this up in the office where there's a little bit more light to see what's going on and I'm not going to forget this little screw. Alright. Here. Here is the spring. Right here. You can see that. Here's the old catch. As you can see it's basically pretty badly mangled. It's basically shot. Here's a new one. Let's get it out of here. And, uh, let's get this thing back together. What did I do with that little screw? Alright, this thing basically, you see how it has the little, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has two little slots that this piece fits into right here, right here, and just fits down right on there, just like that. Little screw goes in there. And that's that. Don't want to over tighten it. That's just plastic that that goes into. You over tighten it, you're just going to crack it and it's going to be useless. It's going to fall off and this door will never work. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that. And that's how that thing sits in there. And you put this thing down. locks. Push it up and it unlocks. And it stays right in place. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's put it back on the bike. Alright. There's the piece right there. It's, it's ready to go. It slips right down in there like that. And then you just Wrap it back in place. And that's it. This angle. And you can see the scratches. And they're pretty bad. There's there's a nice deep gouge right there. That's not a bug, folks. That's those that's really scratches. Well, I went over Dexter's. They didn't have the HJCs. Um, they were all ready to sell me a new helmet. Um, they um, uh, I didn't want a new helmet because that helmet actually fits. Um, um, and finding one that fit, you stick with it no matter how bad it looks until until it gets too old. But I went over to Rosenau and they didn't have it. Uh, they said they could order it, but by the time it caught me in, I'd be already be in Eureka Springs. So I went down the street to Biker Bob's. Harley Davidson shop and guess what they had a brand spanking new visor um, yeah biker bobs pulled my fat out of the fire big time so that's the that's the one that I'm gonna be using on the way down alright that's the only thing I wanted to let you know that was going on um, other than the oil change and the um, uh, door um, peg and all those uh, other little nitpicky things that are going on with the silver wing um, but um, 
My next report should be coming from on the road to Eureka Springs and then at STO in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And uh, I can't wait to get there. Can't wait to uh, get involved uh, with, the, the, with the rally. Uh, and that's all I got for you today right now. Uh, Lenaway Tracker, out.